Hi guys, Mike here. In this video we are covering f-string type conversions. That means I will show you how to convert an f-string to an f-name and f-text and the other way around an f-name and f-text to an f-string. So let's get started. So before we go into C++ code and see how this is done there, let's ha first have a look at Blueprints and see how Blueprints does it. So as you can see here, we have our test string, our test name and te test text. And the way Blueprints does it, they have these conversion nodes and some even for text, a kind of function to call. So here you can see test string is converted to a name or into text, it uses the to text function. And the same goes for a name to a string and text to a string. And these conversion nodes are nothing more than also function calls that call, as you can see here, target is Kismet string library. It calls a function in the string library. And here it's the text library, string library, text library. So Blueprints calls these functions when you see those nodes. So they look uh, really simplistic, but underneath, it called C++ functionality. So let's head over to C++ and see how this can be done in C++. And before I really show you all these examples, like in the blueprints, let's have a look at these Kismet libraries. So for example, the Kismet string library, and what you can see is that all these conversion nodes, they start with conf and then like string to name, string to int and so on and so forth. So if we would be in our test function, let's for example, access the string library and you can see there's a lot of functions in here, but if we start with conf and then you can see what possibilities there are from converting strings to names to other versions, and even like string to int to float, rotator, and other way around. So this is the whole conversion functions from the Kismet string library. And this is similar with the Kismet text library. If you look at here and we say conf, name to text, int to text, and so on. So this is how they are doing it. And if you are seeing other conversion nodes in blueprints, like when you convert int to float or float to int, and then there's nothing else than just calling these functions. And if you look at what these do, so don't use these functions, call them, because in the end, they are doing stuff that you can do right away without using these libraries. These are meant for blueprints only if you're maybe like having functions that are more complex and do stuff, but in the end you can use what they are doing here. And this is what we will cover. So you can see now we wanted to convert string to name. What does it do? It creates an F name with dereferences, the pointer with the string and a pointer to the string, which means access to the array itself, to the teacher array that's in there. So let's do this. Let's just say, okay, our example in here was test string to name and test string to text. So let's do this. So for name, let's say f name test name equals, and then we are creating a new name constructor and what we can do is just say use our test string but this doesn't work we need a pointer to that string or dereferencing that string so that it accesses the teacher array this is how you do f name and for f text let's do f test text one there are two possibilities we have text from string and in here we just pass in the test string so it's different kind of ways how text and names work and there's another way called using another function it's f text colon colon s culture invariant and using the test string these functions for text, as you remember, what I mentioned is text are mostly used for UI elements, everything that is shown to the user. 
And the main functionality of the F-Text is that it is localizable, that you can localize it to different languages. And there's a localize manager in, in Unreal that you can use. And using these two functions, they are really not, let's say, they don't use the auto localization functionality of F-Text. So you are just converting the string not localized as a text. And the only difference is that in from string, it checks if it's in the editor. If it's not in the editor, it sets also culture invariant. And with the in culture invariant, it automatically sets it. So there are these two variants that you can use. In the documentation, they're using this function. And if you're looking at the text library, convert string to text, the text library uses the as culture invariant function. So, and now the other way around, let's see how we can convert a string or an F name and F text to a string. And this is really easy. Let's say we say test string two. Both these classes, F text and F name, they have two string functions. So what we can use is say test name dot to string and it automatically converts that to a string and the same goes with test string three with the f text so let's use the text test text one and call it to string and this is how you do it in c plus plus compared to the blueprint version and so that's it for this video if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments I tried to explain everything to the best of my ability, but if I didn't or things were unclear, feel free to ask and I will gladly answer any questions you might have. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please leave a like and sub if you did. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.